Hi, welcome back to the course of Fundamental of Food Preparation. Today, we are going to continue our practice class which is practical number 4. So, this practical number 4, we're going to discuss about preparation of food using dry heat cooking methods. The objective of this practice class are First, to study the effect of roasting, grilling and broiling, baking, toasting on food. Second one is to study the effect of deep frying, shallow frying, salting and also drying on the foods. Dry heat cooking method refers to any cooking techniques where the heat is transferred to the food item without using any moisture. So, dry heat can be performed by either by using oil, uh, for example like deep frying, steam frying, salting and also without oil or without fat which is include baking, roasting and also toasting. Normally, dry heat cooking uh, method involves high heat with temperature of 150 degrees or hotter depending on the specific dry heat cooking that being used. So, the major objective of dry heat cooking methods compared to moist heat cooking method is the browning process on the food or to be specific, the Maillard reaction can be achieved. Alright, for this practical class, you have to perform two tasks. The task number one is roasting. So, for this task, we are going to prepare a garlic bread. For task number one, you will require several equipment and some consumable includes. For example, like uh, for equipment, we are going to use uh, a, a convection oven, a sheet pan, a wooden spoon, a chef knife, um, a cutting board, and also uh, a big big table. And then for consumable, we are we are going to use four pieces of bread. Uh, 2 tablespoon of garlic uh, 2 tablespoon of minced uh, parsley uh, We're going to use uh, 1 teaspoon of uh, salt 1 teaspoon of uh, black pepper And also 4 teaspoon of butter For this task, begin with the preheating the oven at 100 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes Next, prepare all the equipment and consumable needed for the this task, including mincing the garlic and parsley. Then, in a mixing bowl, combine all the ingredients including minced garlic, minced parsley, salt, black pepper, and also butter. Then mix them thoroughly. After that, Spread the mixture on the surface of each pieces of the bread. Then, 
then it is followed by placing the bread on the sheet pan. After that, transfer the sheet pan into the preheated oven. Set the temperature at 170 degrees Celsius. And roast bread for 5 to 10 minutes. After it's done, take out the sheet pan from the oven and put it aside for a while to let it cool down. Finally, you may serve your nicely garlic bread on a plate. Then, it is done. Alright, the second task for this practice class is deep frying. So for this task, we are going to prepare onion fritter. Alright, for task number 2, you will require several equipments and some consumable as well. For the equipment, we are going to use a frying pan, a tongue, a wooden spoon, strainer, mixing bowl, chef knife, a chopping box, and a plate for serving and some tissue. For the consumer world, we're going to use 500 ml of cooking oil, uh, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, uh, 3, tables, 3 tablespoon of anchovies, uh, 2 medium of eggs, 1 tablespoon of uh, white sugar, 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 big hole of onion, uh, 3 cup of all-purpose flour, and 1 cup of plain water. For this task, begin with preparing all the equipment and consumable needed, including mixing the onion. After that, add in all purpose flour into the mixing bowl. And pour some water. Mix them thoroughly.
Then it is followed by putting the eggs into the mixture. You may add some extra water if the mixture is too concentrated. Stir the mixture until there is no clump visible. Next, add the onion into the mixture and mix it thoroughly. Then it is followed by adding the anchovies into the mixture and then mix them around. Finally, Add some sugar and salt. You may add some baking powder for the leavening purpose. Stir the mixture evenly and leave it for 10 to 15 minutes to let it, to let it, to let the dough rise a bit then heat up the pan and pour some oil After the hot oil has heat up enough or begin to start to create bubbles, put in the fritter dough into the boiling oil using a tablespoon. To ensure that they achieve the doneness at the same time, make sure the sizes of the fritters are consistent.
fry it on its side and wait until you get a really nice golden crisp crust. Once it's done, transfer the onion fritter into a colander to drain off the oil. and you may replace with the new batch and then do the same thing Finally, serve the onion fritter on the, on the plate which is covered by some tissue to absorb the remaining oil on fritter. Then, it is done! Alright, I think that's all for practice class number 4. I hope you are able to perform all the tasks assigned. I wish you all the best. See you in the next practice class. Bye-bye.